Hello avid royal followers and welcome back to the channel. The Duchess of Sussex stepped down from her role as a senior working member of the royal family this year in a dramatic split away from the duties with husband Prince Harry. The move dubbed Mexit saw the couple leave the UK in pursuit of a different path in the US. Meghan and Harry have expressed a desire to become financially independent from the firm and have struck numerous lucrative deals in the US to do so. Royal commentators have discussed the impact of these deals as a review on Mexit arrangements is due next year. Outlining developments, royal expert Roya Nika suggested Meghan's latest ventures, which include multi-million dollar deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify, may have pushed the Queen to snapping point. Recently, Meghan asked her celebrity friend Oprah to endorse her new investment she has with Clever Blends, a woman-led, mission-driven company behind wellness lats. Ms. Nika said the move marked a new direction as an investor for Megan, who contacted Mendoza after trying one of her organic oat milk lattes. The Duchess plans to build a portfolio of female-led startup companies that are in line with her values. As she told the American business publication Fortune, this investment is in support of a passionate female entrepreneur. I'm proud to invest in Hannah's commitment to sourcing ethical ingredients and creating a product that I personally love and has a holistic approach to wellness. But Meghan's decision to ask Oprah to publicly endorse the investment may prove to be a thorny issue when the Queen reviews Meghan and Harry's situation next year. Miss Nika claimed the manner of last week's coup induced a butt of queasiness in royal circles where Oprah's involvement was considered tacky and clumsy. Harry and Meghan had pledged their future activities would uphold the values of Her Majesty. An almighty plague from talk show host flagging her royal connections has stretched the elastic contours of the Mixit deal to snapping point. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's Spotify podcast deal also caused a stir among royal experts as they said it was an unusual step for members of the royal family. Royal biographer Penny Juna has said Harry and Meghan's downfall in their new commercial ventures may have been rushed though they as though they no longer benefit from gold standard advisors at Buckingham Palace, who would have checked their pl plans for pitfalls. Ms. Juno added the couple's other multi-million pound deal with Netflix has al was already controversial because the firm produced The Crown, with the latest season four straying away from facts while exploring the troubled life of Harry's late mother, Diana, Princess of Wales. Ms. Juno also said their new ventures could be an easy way to make their own money away from the royal family. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video.